Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 16, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm gonna revisit a discussion of a study that was produced over the past week, talking about how natural variability related features may tilt toward the hot side over the next four years. And as a follow-up to my earlier statements that even though natural variability might tip toward the warm end of the spectrum, over the next four years, it doesn't mean that the follow-on four years are going to be cooler. And in fact, if there is slightly more rapid warming over the next four years because we get more El Ninos, for example, or the Pacific Ocean tips into a warm phase, human-driven climate change through approximately 40 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions every year, if it continues, will tend to make sure that the following years remain at those hot temperatures. Now, what I'm going to talk about with regards to this particular study is this concept of global warming hiatus or global warming pause. And I'm going to just talk about how there really was no pause. The, the pause is an illusion. And, and I'm just, I want to highlight a couple of graphs. One is a, a graph that was put together by Zach Labe, uh, who has a good Twitter feed. I, I encourage you to follow it. He primarily posts on Arctic sea ice trends, but, but also tends to post occasionally on climate change related trends. And today he put out an excellent graph where he provided a, a linear fit for atmospheric warming since 1970. And as you can see, the rate of warming has been pretty steady if you consider the average. And of course, we have um, strong El Nino years and La Nina years, which will tend to generate a about a 0 0.2 degree Celsius variance between the peak and the trough. But if you're looking at the average line, it has gone consistently, and this is a 32 month running mean line, not an average line, I apologize, 32 month running mean line. If you look at the 132 month running mean, the variance is, is practically non-existent existent and we have a an approximate 0.17 C per decade increase over the de all the decades starting starting since 1970 and this rate of increase has been inexorable it really hasn't changed we have certainly seen some strong El Ninos and some strong La Ninas which have wagged the natural variability related feature, which is kind of like a wave that overrides the longer term trend, which is inexorably upward. So just to be very clear, if you're looking at climate change over decadal timescales, and that's really what you need to be looking at, there, there, there really was no pause in the region in the, in the time period of the 2000s even though there was a tendency for la nina events in the pacific and the pacific went through a cooler phase in general global warming did not stop and the notion that global warming somehow stopped is a, is a bit of a misnomer one other indicator for global heat gain. And in fact, the, the primary indicator for global heat gain is how much energy in the form of heat energy me measured in joules is the ocean accumulating. And this graph provided by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows ocean heat gain since the early 1990s from the surface to 3,000 feet and from 3,000 
I'm sorry, to, from the surface to 2,300 feet and from 2,300 feet to 6,560 feet. And it's worth noting that all regions of the ocean are showing heat gain, but as we can see from 2000 to 2010, there was no pause whatsoever in the rate of ocean heat gain. And it's worth noting that the oceans themselves are a better measure of, of global warming than the atmosphere because the, the rate of heat transfer is, is more steady and the ocean has more thermal inertia than the atmosphere. So, so two indicators just to show that, one, the so-called pause in global warming that some talk about during the decade of the 2000s was ephemeral and was related to a, a downswing in natural variability related features that did not have an impact on the overall warming trend. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.